Look at how much I've used. I was surprised at myself. These products are ones that I always apply whenever I film. Hey guys, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel. All right, guys, for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some products, specific products that I stuck up on. And what I mean by this is, uh, obviously, you guys know I get lots of PR, and I also buy a lot of skincare products myself when I see them on sale. And whenever I get the same products or multiples of the same products, I give them away because what? What is the point, right? It's like a waste. I'm not gonna be able to use it up all. And I have so many other products to, that I have to try out. So I just give them away. However, perro, with these products, these specific products, I do not give them away. I keep them for myself and I stock up because I know I'm going to use every single one of the bottle or the tub or whatever it is. These products are ones that I specifically love or my skin loves and so yeah, I'll be sharing them with you guys today. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Jump, jump. All right, for the first product, it is Tada, the Dalba First Spray Serum. I know guys, look at how much I've used. I was surprised at myself. Help. I'm just like, wow, I really do love this product. <laughs> this portion of the video is sponsored by Taiba, but I don't think it takes a genius to tell that regardless of the fact that it's sponsored, I sincerely love using this product, okay? It is, it is such an elegant, beautiful product and I do recommend it with all of my heart as you guys can see I mean it is backed up I especially using this right now during the transitional period I think it's perfect to give you the extra glow so for those who have no idea what it is even though if you're a follower you should be very well aware what this is by now this is a multifunctional spray that consists of an oil layer and a serum layer and it will give you that boost of glow and hydration that you can spray out any time of the day and it's multifunctional because you can use it as a first step of skincare care or you can set your makeup with it you can use it however you want and so for the serum layer it consists of white truffle extract as well as vitamin E tocopherol which is rich in antioxidant properties which is yay thumbs up and then for the oil layer it contains sunflower seed oil and I did not memorize avocado oil there we go cherry seed extract and lots of other natural plant oils so because it consists of that special oil layer this is not gonna dry your skin out and that's I think my biggest beef or pet peeve with a lot of mist sometimes it can dry your skin out even more but this won't so all you gotta do is shake it up make sure the two layers are sh mixed in well and then you just do a couple of spritz for me it depends on what state my skin is at if I'm already done with makeup and I just want a bit of that boost of glow I just do three spritz that's all I need whereas when I don't have anything on I'll just go in like crazy <laughs> just because like sometimes in the morning I don't really go in straight with my skincare but I'll, I still want a bit of hydration as I'm doing work and such and the reason why I cherish this product is that it gives you that luxurious glow the golden dewy look at a such minimal effort like all you gotta do is spray it like three times and that's it right and it's very the product you can tell it's very luxurious it doesn't feel cheap the spritz the spray or the spritz feels very elegant it's like a spa spritz it's not a camera spit spritz which is the ones that I Hate. I absolutely detest those. Oh, P.S. This is vegan, which is an extra plus. And guys, I give you guys, I bring you guys the awesome news that you can get this. This is on sale. I might stock up on myself, you know? And speaking of their sale, they're having a sale on their SPF as well. These are quality products. Like these are, like I said, they do not feel cheap. Same goes with the sunscreen. This is my dad's favorite. He only uses this. Anyways, this is a beautiful, oh, this is the Taiba UV Essence Waterfall Plus and this is a beautiful, lightweight, lotion-like textured SPF that just, ooh, absorbs right into your skin. It's very, very pleasant to use. Please take advantage of the sale, guys. Like, trust me, trust me. Oh, yes, guys, and this was also in the Unisoo box. And also, I believe in another box of mine, if I'm not mistaken, maybe it was not, but it was for sure the Unisu box, and I know you guys love it, so... You know what I'm saying? Now, moving on, I'm going to talk about some essences, and there are a couple of essences that have a special place in my heart, but these are the ones that I will collect, and it is the essences from I'm From, yeah! 
Okay, so first we have the I am from Mugwort Essence. I am pretty sure I emptied out multiples of these. I just don't have the empties with me because they're heavy. These are glass. I love these so much. So much that this one is really outdated. <laughs> It's kind of gross. Like I, I'm just ignoring the fact that this is hella outdated, but I'm still using it because it's good. And so far, it hasn't. It's okay. It doesn't feel appalling on my skin. But anyways, I will get a new one, guys. I will actually. I ain't gonna stock up on the new one because it's like really old, and I feel like you guys might, you might, I might get canceled for this or something. It has like five percent of viscosity, which is just the way I like it because I feel like it does way more than just like a watery essence, which works sometimes. The 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 watery essences have their own place, but for the majority, I love these. Um, so yeah, it feels very calming, soothing. The scent is very earthy. So relaxing. And yes, I'm from Rice Toner. So ever since the Laneige Cream Skin got discontinued, I've been stocking up on these. Because actually the Laneige Cream Skin was a product I stocked up on hard. I had multiple bottles of those. I was like, like I felt like a squirrel in the winter. You know, when they're getting ready or... Do they not do No, they go into hibernation in the winter. Scratch that. Well, you know what, like, how those rodents, they suck up on food, and they're just like, they feel very satisfied, they feel safe, and they know they're not gonna go hungry. Likewise, I felt like that the same way when I suck up the Laneige Cream Skin, until they discontinued it. Oh, actually, not discontinued it. Until they upgraded it, and now it no longer feels like the original. So, as an alternative, I realized that the I'm from Rice Toner feels really, really close, like really similar to the Laneige Cream Skin. Even although I will say these feel a lot thicker. So from then, I've been sucking up on these. So <laughs> this. And then last, we have the Fig Boosting Essence, guys. This is such an underrated product. Like, why are we all sleeping on this? This is so refreshing and fun to use. And like its name, it really does help to boost up your skin. And so it makes it perfect to do your makeup, prep up your skin, to do makeup, or put on other skincare. And it really just gives you that extra oomph of hydration. And it has 62.7% of fake extract, which is rich in peptides and amino acids. And this also has polyphenols in it. So it's got a good list or mixture of ingredients it also has like 10 percent of viscosity so i feel like that's why this really feels like it gives you that boost of hydration it's a bit more viscous than the mugwort essence but once again great quality really 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 good essence to start out your skincare steps so don't sleep on this. Moving on is an SPF. And if you guys been watching my recent videos, you guys probably can guess what it is. And it is, yes, the Round Lab Birch Tree Moisturizing Sunscreen. Oh, I nailed the name. That never happens. <laughs> now, I'll be honest. I don't have as much stocked up with these because I'm I'm giving them, I always give it to my sister and my mother to use. This is their go-to sunscreen. I mentioned this in the video before, but this is their go-to. And like for my dad, he loves the Taiba one. Anyways, this is a sunscreen that is very hydrating. Um, so I, you know, I always say like, oh, most K-Beauty SPFs, they have like a similar uh, formulations, which they do. But this one, I feel like has more of that extra hydration. So this will actually double up as your cream. And it definitely leaves you that nice hydrating glow finish as well. So I do recommend this if you have more of a, like a drier skin type. But anyways, this also contains hyaluronic acid and niacinamide as as well as birch tree sap, which is rich in minerals, enzymes, proteins, antioxidants, etc. So it's got great ingredients, but yeah, this is like a no-brainer. It's like I always stock up. I always buy when it's on sale. Oh, P.S. This is a chemical SPF or, or it has organic UV filters just in case you guys are interested. But I know this is very like suitable if you have sensitive skin. Like my sister has the most sensitive skin. I know it's very, very fickle. Like it's not even consistent. She's not even like sensitive to like one thing. It's like it depends on like the product. So which gives me a very hard time when I'm trying to gift up with products, but this is one that she can get away with, so yeah. Next, need I say more? Need I say more? It is the ISOE Acne Dr. First Beauty Spot. 
I know. I was very surprised that I failed to include this in my top 10 products video that I did. I'm just like, Sue, what's going on? This is like one of your rotted dads. So just in case you guys don't know what this is, this is basically a acne spot treatment that you apply on your acne and will help calm it down. And this is my numero una, okay? This is like the spot treatment that I will use. It contains a mixture of both Eastern and Western ingredients such as H. cordata, centella, bishop sweet, white willow, S as well as tea tree. Um, so yeah, it will help calm down the inflammation and help with the redness a bit. Now I mentioned in one of my acne related videos that with these spot treatments, don't expect them to make like your cystic acne to disappear, no. Because these are just like cosmetic sold and out in the market, they're not going to be like, they're not gonna be miracle workers but they do help lessen the redness and once you apply it and go to sleep in the next day, for me personally, I can see that the redness has calmed down a bit more. So it's just think of it as like an aid, like a little supporter helping you deal with acne. But yeah, that's basically what it is. And the big, biggest merit of this product and the reason why I choose this over any other spot treatments, acne spot treatments, is because of the fact that the formulation of this, it dries down. So it's sticks on the acne. Oh my gosh. The number of times I've had other acne treatments just sliver down like shoop and I'm just like, what was the point? It is so obsolete. Whereas this one, I just uh, plop it, it's gloopy. And so I just plop it on and just wait and then it will dry down, making sure that it sticks on. So that is like the biggest merit of this. And that is why I always go for this. You guys know, girl, I'm just waiting to be like ISO's ambassador right now. Like, give me a call. <laughs> yeah. So that's that. All right, for the serums. Now, obviously, there are so many serums that I love, so many ones that I like to stock up on, but I felt like these two are the ones that are they're like my ride or die. These are like my my hardcore ones, if that makes sense. And it is, ta-da, these two. First, I have the Wallace Real Hyaluronic Blue Ample and also the My Chuan 10% Cell Rejuvenation 10% Night Serum Boosting Ample. Need I say more? I feel like pretty much it's self-explanatory, especially if you've been watching my videos. But yeah, um, basically, <laughs> I feel like a broken record. Just like, eh, eh. but it just shows you guys how much I love these. This is like my go-to, especially when I when I need a little bit more of that hydration. This is one of my go-tos, and I love it because it's 100 ml. Thank you very much. I, this is something I always say in my videos, like. Brands be stingy with their products and serums. They come out with like 30 mil and like 50 mil. I'm just like, how am I supposed to use this for like a month, you know? So I applaud you, Wellash. Well done, well done. And basically, this is just like your straight up basic hyaluronic acid serum with 10 different weights. Oh, sorry, nine different weights of hyaluronic acid. Um, With the Mytoan, you guys know, this is like my... You know? <laughs> this is 10% of niacinamide, and so this is great if you want to brighten up your skin complexion, but you don't want to commit to a vitamin C or retinol or any other brightening ingredients, and you just want something that's safe and less ir or not, not irritating. This isn't irritating at all. This is definitely more on the thicker side. So with the Wellage one, this is very light. This is definitely something I reach for now till the summer, where it gets very hot, and I just need hy light hydration. Light but sure effective hydration. This one I do reach out for fall, winter because it does have more viscous, thicker uh, formulation to it. But my skin just drinks it right up. It feels lovely. Next, this is like my latest addition to my collection. I feel like with the products that I just mentioned by now, like you guys are like, yeah, I see, saw that coming. But this cream is like, oh, she really, wow, she's really made an impression on me. It is the Estura Atoberry 365 Cream. Wow, I stock up on every Estura products because I know they're good and I know I'm gonna be trying them and I know I'm gonna be liking them. So I just like collect everything that they send me from PR or I just stock up. Uh, the, okay, so the product that I do stock up and I do buy is this 365 cream. Just because with the other ones, 
I haven't really tried them out, like sat down and gave them a real good go, but I just keep them because I know they're going to be good because I trust Estra. Actually, I have more, but I always give them to my sister because she loves this one as well. I think I've mentioned this like three times within this month only, and it's just a beautiful creamy cream, creamy cream, wow, that has these encapsulated ceramides, fatty acid, and cholesterol, so it feels very very emotionally nourishing and i love how elegant the formulation feels it feels almost like a lotiony cream it's not yeah because it just absorbs right in <sighs> so beautiful i'll be honest i'm reaching out for this a little less now that the weather's getting hotter but for sure up until now this blew my pants off. I was very, very impressed. Last but definitely not least is Bobbi Brown products. Ta -da! Okay, so with the Bobbi Brown Soothing Cleansing Oil, I feel like you guys know this is like my ride or die. This literally is my ride or die. I love this cleanser. It is my go-to and I seriously think it's worth every single penny. It's a light cleansing oil that really removes everything. So for today, I want to explain more about these lip balms. I think this is the first time I'm sharing them with you guys in the, my videos. And I don't know why, it's just, I guess it's just I never really talk about lip balms. But these products are ones that I always apply whenever I film. And these are, I will say, I can say, these are the best lip balms out in the market. I have used a lot of lip balms. I've used the Dior one, I've used the Melixir one. Those two are okay, but nothing hits home like these Bobbi Brown lip balms do. And, and they are actually really hyped up. A lot of people like uh, talk about them and I think they're so worth the hype. So let me break it down to you guys. Let me talk about why they're so good. Oh, P.S. The color that I love is Bare Melon. This is the color I specifically love. It's an orangey, pinkish. It's actually the color that I have on right now. So this is not only suitable when you have bare skin, but also when you have a full face of makeup on. It still gives you enough pigment and payoff that you can pull it off as like your regular lip product. And so first, not only do I love the color, but the formulation. No matter how many times I go in, it doesn't pile up, if you guys know what I mean. So with other lip balms, it just comes out in thick, swipes that I'm just like it's too much or sometimes it doesn't even feel like there's nothing going on I feel like Dior one is a little weak like that this one just fills up the hydration and the color to your lips and then once it's reached its limit it stops by itself no matter how much I'm swiping it it's like AI or something and it just makes my lips look super plump and juicy and luscious all right, guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> if there are any other products that you'd like to stock up on, let me know in the comments down below. You guys know I love reading your comments. But yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next. Ciao!